Just oh, we're proud. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. We're proud. To, to, to be working, working class. class. Now go up. Right. Now go up fifth. Solidarity. This is, this is good footage. Hi, I'm Greg Graham. I'm the dance captain of Billy Elliot on Broadway. A dance captain is somebody who uh, stays behind after the creative staff leaves and mounts the show and uh, maintains, helps maintain the integrity of the choreographic nature of the show. You're the middleman, the liaison between the dance and the musical staging, the director and the stage manager and, and the, the rest of the entire creative staff. Good, 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 good. Certain dance captains will fall into the position. It's in a way kind of how I was approached with this job, my history from dance captaining other shows, and it's how I was initially uh, contacted and, and brought in to find out if I was interested and, and available and capable of doing the job. Peter Darling's the choreographer. He, his approach to dance is one of reality. Some of the steps in the show are ballet, but for a lot of, this, a lot of the pieces there, um, they're based in, in real civilian movement. What's so wonderful about the piece is, is that you see, you'll see ballet dancers doing um, you know, pieces of movement. You'll see somebody who is by no means a dancer doing the same piece of movement, and they look like they've done it you know, together for a number of years. I was working with David Hibbard, um, who's a new member of the company, <laughs> trying to learn this, this bit of material. And it's a, it's a jump rope piece. Um, that's set to tap dancing. Uh, David's requirements were to understudy the part of Mr. Braithwaite. Mr. Braithwaite is sort of a cameo role, it comes out in the middle of the show, towards the end of the first act, um, and is the first uh, male figure that Billy sees uh, dance. Um, and David was learning uh, a piece from the show that's a bit tricky. Um, and it takes a long time to learn. It's a lot about patience, patience with yourself, patience with new people coming into the show who don't know what the choreographer had originally intended. So you grab her five, grab the ballet girl on five, Seven. Through a three-week rehearsal proce process, sometimes four weeks, sometimes it's a week, um, you feed that information to that person to, to sort of speak inspirationally as opposed to just informationally, to color the, the rest of the show in for them. Growing uh, a, a likeness in choreographing myself, I finally realized over time what the importance of my job was. It became less about steps and more about the integrity and intention of the show. And number one importance is the story that they're trying to tell you. You know, when you do a good job, the creative team is appreciative. When you're not doing such a good job, things can start to unravel or fall apart. You learn how to become extremely diplomatic um, and fair. <laughs> one on the pickup. There are times where I walk home extremely lethargic and, and I don't know how I got through the day. Um, but you do. When that person that you're teaching or when you have a good rehearsal that day with the company, if it's a cleanup rehearsal, when those days go well, um, that's your reward. And that's what makes you like your job. <laughs>